Hey guys, it's Ricardo and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Today I'm going to look at an issue with dual SIM phones where basically you are unable to receive any calls because for some reason it is not, um, the calls are not coming in. So if somebody's calling you, basically what they'll hear when they call is that they'll get, they'll go straight to voicemail, right? So your phone won't ring. Now another thing what makes this so difficult is because with dual SIM phones, you actually can have two SIM cards or two um, chips in your device at the same time. Now, um, this was actually affecting a friend of mine and we were able to fix the issue. Now, as we said before, the phone was working fine. I was able to um, get into my voicemail and so on. Everything was working as it should. But however, whenever I came to calls, people were complaining that they were calling and the phone was not ringing. So they would go straight to voicemail and it would not ring. Now, if you're having said or a similar issue, I'm going to show you how we were able to correct that issue. So you can actually use this as a workaround or a fix in case you're having the issue. Now, please note also that this might not work for you in the same way. So one of the first things that we um, did was to, or I did, was to power down the phone. So most times if the phone is on for too long, that can actually cause issues. So straight away, if you're having issues, so just go ahead and hold down power and restart or reboot the phone. All right. Um, then you're going to try again, you're going to get an another phone, you can call your main phone and let's see and or check if it's actually, if the calls are coming in. In most cases, it should work for a few people. If it did not, it's going to go ahead and um, open up your phone. As you said, it's a dual SIM um, phone. So as you can see, this is SIM slot 1, SIM slot 2. So I could have two different carriers such as, um, as long as they're GSM, such as um, I could probably have something like AT&T and on this one I could have another carrier such as um, I don't know, as long as a GSM carrier could be any other carrier, alright so one of the first things I did after that was to actually go ahead and um, remove the second SIM and I was um, just basically left SIM 1 in SIM 1 slot, so basically what I'm recommending is that if you have two SIMs remove one and leave only one in place you can go ahead again and shut up or basically close the case and once you do that you can actually go ahead and um, power up the phone all right and once you do that you can just go ahead and check or to see if you're actually able to connect all right so um in that case i'm just going to give me a second here I just need to unlock my phone all right and in that case, what we realized is that as soon as we were able to only connect one SIM card, the calls would come in and the phone was actually working as it should. So for some reason, while there were two SIMs in the phone, it was not accepting um, any calls at all. So one was conflicting with the other. So one of the things that you could actually try to fix this problem is that you could go into settings and actually reset the settings in case the um, leaving one SIM in did not work. Also, you could also try um, switching the leaving only one SIM in and actually switching the ports from SIM 1 to SIM slot 2. All right. So, guys, that has been a quick um, tutorial or quick tips on how I was able to fix a very common um, issue facing um, a dual SIM phone. Not this particular one. I'm just demonstrating with this one. And, guys, if you found this useful, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you did not find this useful, you can go ahead and give us a thumbs down. And also, you can also comment. This is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying goodbye until next time. Bye.